Well, it's been seven months since a bill was signed into law, making it possible for public school systems in Alabama to keep a supply of EpiPens on campus. The law makes it legal for teachers to administer the medication to students with allergic reactions without a prescription, but so far the law is only as good as the paper it was written on. That's because funding still isn't available and our local schools are left in the dark. That's tonight's Reality Check. Maria Pendleton was a seemingly healthy seven-year-old who collapsed at school after having an allergic reaction to peanuts. They didn't give her anything. With no medication around for school employees to give her, Anne Maria died on the way to the hospital. This happened near Kansas City, but the fear that this could happen here, too, on the Gulf Coast is cause for concern. Having the right tools on hand at the right time can mean life or death. The alarming truth is your kid is not protected in Mobile or Baldwin County Public Schools. They right now may not be well taken care of. That's because a critical tool in fighting an allergic reaction is missing from campuses across our area. We have a lot of classrooms, so that would be a lot of EpiPens. Terry Wilhite with the Baldwin County Public School System admits purchasing EpiPens for his 45 campuses would be almost impossible, at least without some sort of funding. It does, sadly come down to money. How are you going to pay for it? That's something that we don't have the answer for today. That needed medication comes with a hefty price tag, costing more than a hundred bucks for each pen. With 45 campuses in Baldwin County and 90 campuses in Mobile, those costs can really start adding up thousands of dollars for multiple EpiPens on each campus. The law, which was signed by Governor Robert Bentley in April, doesn't require schools to stock up on EpiPens until funds are found at the state level. But in the meantime, it does allow school systems to either find private funding or find a manufacturer or physician to donate the devices. But so far, that hasn't happened. Physicians don't want to take us on as a big system. Dr. Wanda Hannon oversees health and social services in the Mobile County Public School System and sees a benefit to having EpiPens available. She says 911 response times aren't always fast enough. Sometimes three to five minutes is a long time whenever you're going into anaphylaxis. The law requires Alabama public school systems to adopt and implement an anaphylaxis preparedness program by the start of the 2015 school year. But so far, that's an item left on the to-do list for both Baldwin and Mobile counties. Until then, each child who has an allergy is responsible for providing his or her own EpiPen. It must be left in the school's front office, and it's up to the parents to make sure everyone who may need to use it knows how. Right now, school nurses are in charge of deciding who can give medication to students at any given time. There's a 12-hour mandatory class they must attend before administering any medication to students. That, too, is still something that needs work, according to the school systems, that are still falling behind on coming up with an allergic reaction plan. It's possible little Anne Maria would still be alive today if her school had a similar plan in place. Also, the bottom line, local school districts don't have the money to spend arming themselves with these life-saving tools. We've reached out to the State Board of Education to find out if or when funding will trickle down to our local school systems, but so far calls have not yet been returned.